Okay, so we're going to finish up week seven on the hunt with uh, the hunter chases three of them. And the first one's a two mile naught to hundred here at Allwick. Mad Willow for Stu Gray, Hogmanay for Alex Cherry, Grey Lump for Pontypool, Grey Lummy Worthy for Dog Warren, Jabuel for James Follis, Miller's Mate for Kevin Meanham, Worthy 5 for Dog Warren, Robin Clapperball for Pontypool, Bonachere Rivière for Martin Leedham, Pies for Lipstown for Darren House, Allegram for Martin Leedham, Arnu for James Follis, Middleton Sunrise for Alex Cherry, and Phillipstown Sphinx. And I thought I had a horse in this. Well, that's a bit of a surprise. Oh, I did. Mad Willow, top of the tree. <laughs> Didn't even see him. That's because I'd already forgotten about calling him. And he's not leading. Anyway, it's Worthy V from our new Middleton Sunrise. These three have gone bounding off from Mad Willow. And he's dragging on the rest. They're into the first of the 12 here at Ornwick. Which anyone wonders where Ornwick is. It's up in Northumbria. Northumbria. Which is pretty close to the old borders. Scots borders, so they all talk a little bit like they don't really know. Oh no, that's a bit Cornish, isn't it? Ah, I imagine we're at Exeter. So they get to the third. Oh, we've lost two there. Grey Lamy, Worthy, and Allegram have gone. Common, two of the commentators' horses bow out at the third. But still, both got a runner in here. And obviously, Arnu leads us from Middleton Sunrise and Worthy V. And they've got about a four length advantage from the rest. Just being led by Green Number Grey. As you can see the conditions of the ground here, that's the carpet uh, colour of this Ornwick track. It's absolutely lush, plenty of trees, as you'd imagine, as we're close to the Scotch borders. Into the fourth, and everybody's over it. And that's the same one, two, and three up front. And now Willow's poked his held back out into fourth. And then Phillipstown Sphinx and Jabuel. Get to the fifth. Over. Oh no, we've lost one there. God, the jockey took a long time getting off that horse, and it's poor old Kevin Meanham loses his jockey on Miller's mate. So he's down. So we've lost three. They get to the six. Oh, and another one's gone. In his height, it's Phillips down this time. Also ships his jockey. Down four. We're halfway through the fences. Maybe that's why they're all in a hunter's chase. And all to nut 100, because none of them can jump. They get to the seventh. Everybody's over it, although a really poor jump by Robin Clapperbolt, who clappered through the top of it. And we're still being led between Arno, Middleton, Sunrise and Worthy, the, the big ditch. Everybody's over that as well. That was five from home. Just uh, coming up to five furlongs as well to run. So it's Arnu now by a length and a half to Middleton Sunrise. Arnu stayed in the centre of the course most of this most of this race. Obviously prefers the ground there. Although the rest are catching up a little bit now. Phillipstown Sphinx leads them from Mad Willow. Hogmany Worthy five still there. They get into the ninth. The leaders are all over it. It's still Arnu. Centre of the course leads from Middleton Sunrise and Phillipstown Sphinx. Out wide is Mad Willow. Hogmany pushing through. Great. Worthy V having another crack at it and then being followed through by Jabuel and Grey Nun. Bullshit River and Robin Clappercourt have got a lot to do from there. We're inside the two and a half now. And they get to the tenth. Oh, the leader went just straight through it. And Arnu gives way to his stable mate Jabuel, but pushes on again on the inside is Middleton Stunrise still. There's Phillips Town Sphinx Mad Willow on the leader this time. Goes through it poorly again. And Middleton Sunrise has been had to take advantage of this and starts to pull away here inside the final furlong. Jockey's going to hands and heels this, get over the 12th. He does, he was slow. He might need to step on the gas here as the others try and catch him. But now I think he's got the weight on his side and he certainly has an easy win there for Middleton Sunrise. Alex Cherry takes that one. Oh, Wick Hunter chase over two miles with Middleton Sunrise. Second was Philip Town Sphinx for Darren House. Third was Jabo of James Forrest. Fourth was Mad Willow for Stu Gray. And fifth was Bonchier River for Martin Leadham.